Hey doll friends, this is Sambi with Little Plastic Friends, and I just wanted to jump on here and do a quick video showing you uh, my small but mighty collection of art dolls. So, um, it all started with this little doll down here. This is Pocket Full of Posies, and she was a very limited run. They made... I think there were, I know there were two dolls. One looked like a pirate for some reason. And then you had the little gothic girl. And I think there was supposed to be a third one. And I'm not, oh gosh, I'm not 100% sure if it was ever made. But Pocketful of Posies, she's a soft body. She has little soft arms and little soft legs. And she's got these little, uh, hold on, let me show you real quick. She's got these little stripey tights. She's so cute. Um, but she cannot stand on her own. She has kind of a, kind of a pillow body, I would say. So she can just kind of hang out there. Um, but I don't even remember. I think I saw her and then I dug around and found the woman that was selling them. And she had a website for a moment. And, um, I have seen the other one pop up, but I don't know that I've seen anybody show this particular girl. Um, at least not in any videos I've seen. But she was my first, I would say, art doll. Um, and then I got the Rune Witches, which these little guys, I, th I think a lot of people have picked up on them. They're awesome. And these are all vinyl except for her um they just have basic articulation they can fit a variety of other doll clothes they're so cute and I love their little oh their expressions are just the best that little kind of sour kind of like just over it kind of face I just love it she's wonderful um, the, and I couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted, and I just bit the bullet and bought both of them because I couldn't stand it. Um, here in the front, we have the larvies, which are the teenage fashion maggots. Who doesn't love a fashion maggot? Um, so I love, I love my larvae. I think <laughs> she's so good. Um, so... These were a Kickstarter project, and this was the first doll released, was the blonde. The little glasses do come off, and you can, you know, plop them up there. Um, she does, her body does twist, and the arms move, and she's so freaking adorable. Um, so anyway, they started with the blonde, then they did the brunette, and the brunette right now is in the Maggot in the Moonlight outfit looking fabulous not sure that this is supposed to go up here but that's where I put it um I think she's really cute oh god they're so cute okay so here's Megan in the Moonlight and then Parisian Parasite is the outfit for this one and look at that little hair bow I mean gosh she's so cute so anyway the redhead was the last one. So these were all a Kickstarter project that I completely missed out on every single time. I think I, this one I didn't find out until a bit later. This one I missed by like a week. That one I missed by like a day. Why? Why? How do I miss these things? I would totally have gone in on this as a Kickstarter. Because seriously, she's a fashion maggot. It's awesome. Um, and obviously, I ended up finding them. There is a store, a girl told me about a store out in Los Angeles called Wacko. And they carry them. Very small batches of them, but they carry them. And that's where I've ended up buying all of it. Uh, there was a third outfit that I tried to buy. And it was actually the one I wanted the most. And it was called Larvy Q. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, I can't even stand it. Um, and 
I instead accidentally ordered two of this outfit because, let's be honest, I was trying to order it at work from my desk and I was trying to be sneaky and in turn it turned around and bit me because um, I ordered the wrong outfit and then when I got you know home I was like oh I'll go ahead and order the other two since I got the larvae Q one and they were so nice and they're like hey we combined your orders it's all cool and I'm like great damn it when it showed up I looked at the order and then I went back and looked at my orders and oh I screwed it up but anyway neither here nor there I have all three of the amazing maggots that's really what matters um but yeah they did a great job the the redhead and the outfits came out at the same time so that's kind of fun let's see I'm gonna move pocket full of posies over here and we're gonna talk about fabiola oh my god look at this gorgeous oh gosh i just i just never feel like i can get the light right on her because of the box she's in gosh, she's incredible incredible um all of these you basically okay so the artist makes all the different dolls. I think all the faces are hand painted and they have different color hair, um, different makeup. Like mine has purple lips and some of them have pink, they have peach, they had just a variety. Um, but basically when, when he puts them up, you pick exactly which one you want because they're all one of a kind, which is so freaking cool. So, um, you know, you might have another one with that face paint, but the outfit would be different or the hair color would be different or whatever. But if you can get a hold of a Fabiola, oh God, they're the most beautiful dolls. They're so pretty. So, and then speaking of pretty, let's talk about Anouk. This is my Anouk. I am completely in love. I think she's wonderful. Um, she showed up today, and this is her book. She is based on, the story is that she and her friend are teenage fashion models, because that's cool, and they're in India, and they get invited to participate in a high-budget Bollywood movie, and they get to wear all these fabulous clothes, and they get to do guest appearance, you know, so... She showed up today. She's incredible. She came with this little stand. And it is the most interesting little saddle stand. It's like, I don't want to take her off of it. Because, well, you know what? Let me just show you. It is the neatest little saddle stand. It's like just a single piece. So she just kind of stands on it. Um, like so. Oh, there. That was easy. Um... But she has a she has a hand painted face. She's lovely, and the man who creates these he's so nice. Um, and all of so all of them have hand painted faces. And actually, he ended up having to go back and do touch ups on all their faces because the the painting that came from the factory where he ordered them was not complete. So they all have hand-painted faces, and all the hair that came in was not cut in any kind of style, so he had to cut all the hair, and then he built all the stands, and it's just really, just she's just a really special doll, I think. And I kind of think that she came from, and I think it is Spain, that makes the vinyl dolls that smell like vanilla. Because she smells incredible. Incredible. So, um, and with these, actually, it was really fun because he had a series of outfits, a series of hair colors, and a series of hairstyles. And you could individually tailor each one. So I picked the ginger hair, pulled up in the, in the high pony with the bangs, this outfit, um... And this is what, you know, 
So this is exactly what I picked out. So, um, again, kind of like her, there could be, someone else could have purchased the same doll and then, you know, put a different outfit on her or whatever. So it was really neat to see the process. He posted a lot of pictures where you could keep up with it. Um, she's just beautiful. She's beautiful. And I'm so happy. And she's so much heavier than I expected. She's a very dense doll. Um, she does have a tiny little manicure. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and she came with shoes. She came with the purse. She came with the flowy scarf um, and her outfit and her hair bow. And she's she's gorgeous. I'm, I'm super excited to have her. And, uh, so this is my, my collection, my small collection of art dolls. And I would, honestly, I would include smart doll in with this because they are handmade as well. Um, but they're going to get their own video because, well, I have, I have a lot of them. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. I have a lot of smart dolls. And I love them. So, yeah. So that's all. I just wanted to jump on and show you my little collection of art dolls. All right, you all. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.